New this morning, the Bell Vernon Area School District has a new uh, superintendent. But not everybody is happy with the hire. Jessica Gouet joining us live in the newsroom this morning to explain what's going on there. Good morning to you, Jess. Good morning, David and Lindsay. The Bell Vernon Area School Board voted to hire Timothy Glasspool as the district's new superintendent. It was a very heated meeting last night. Several people voiced their opposition and concerns about his time as the superintendent of the Plum Borough School District. The board approved Glasspool as the new superintendent superintendent in an eight to one vote. They said he has over 20 years of experience. While he was the Plum su superintendent, there was a teacher student sex scandal in the district in 2015. Glasspool resigned in 2017. Three teachers pleaded guilty to having inappropriate relationships with students. Glasspool currently is the superintendent of Pencrest School District in Crawford County. Bell Vernon School Board members said they conducted a thorough superintendent search that included several rounds of interviews. Multiple community members and parents spoke out during the meeting. They said they did not agree with this hiring. One person asked, how can we trust this guy with our children? There were also questions about why the public didn't get a chance to meet with Glasspool and ask questions themselves. Here's what Glasspool had to say last night. Looking back, I definitely would have done things differently. I would have interacted with the families and the communities differently. I would have spoken more cleanly. Um, I would have interacted with the media a lot different. The school board said Glasspool was open with the board about his time in the Plum School District. They also said former Plum employees reached out to support Glasspool. Board members said they believe he's the right person to lead Bell Vernon Area School District forward. Glasspool will become superintendent on October 2nd. In the newsroom, Jessica Gway, KDK TV News.